Yo, what's up guys? Coach Nate with another video and blog for you today. We're going to be talking about how you can get hot, healthy, and rich with strength training. You know, look, I've been training clients for well over 10 years. I've been working out myself for well over 15 years. And what I have seen is that strength training will improve every aspect of of your life. And I want to touch on a few of those today. So these are some of the aspects of your life that I've seen strength training consistently improve. Number one is health. Number two is fitness. Number three is your mental health. Number four is your relational health. Number five is your spiritual health. And number six is your financial health. Let's dive into each of these six areas. Number one is physical health. This is one of the more obvious ones. If you think about exercise, eating well, strength training, what's going to get better? Your health. Okay, you're going to improve your blood work, all right? You're going to have more energy. You're going to have better sleep. And if we take care of our health, we're likely going to have a better lifespan. So let's touch on each of these. Blood work. Typically, we see people's blood work improve because exercise is going to improve metabolic health. And so your blood markers should follow. Time and time again, we've had uh, you know people see improvements in cholesterol, triglycerides, um, blood sugar, A1C, um, all that stuff, blood pressure, all of these things strength training is going to benefit. Okay. So if strength training is not part of your health plan, it absolutely should be. Next is energy and sleep. Improved energy and sleep is one of the very first things that people report back to me once starting strength training. I mean, I'm talking like the first workout, the first week at the latest, people are seeing improvements in their energy and their sleep. Okay. Like, and, and so they go together, right? The exercise, it is going to improve your energy. The better sleep is going to also give you more energy. And what happens with the sleep, people are like more tired at the end of the day. All right. A lot of times we're like tired, but wired when we lay down at night, because we've got all this like nervous energy, this pent up anxiety and energy from, you know, the stress of the day, but then we're not moving our bodies. We're sitting around, we're very sedentary. And so like our, our minds are exhausted. We're stressed, but our bodies, while we also feel tired and sluggish are like, even though we haven't done anything, right? And so like exercise allows us to use that, helps us fall asleep very quickly, sleep really well through the night, sleep like a baby, and then wake up in the morning feeling rested. All right, those are some of the improvements that we typically see. Next is fitness. Again, one of the more obvious ones, you start working out, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get more fit. So you're gonna have more strength. You're gonna have more muscle. You're gonna have more endurance, okay? So you're gonna be fit and capable to do the things you love with the people you love. So if you need to do something, maybe you need to move some boxes, you're gonna move houses. If you need to move, you need to do something, you have the fitness to do it. If there's something you want to do, you have the fitness to do it. No more feeling like your body's holding you back from being, doing, and having everything that you want, all right? So fitness, again, another obvious one that strength training is gonna improve. The next one is mental health, all right? So it's absolutely gonna improve your mental health. You're gonna have less stress, you're gonna be more clear-headed, and you're gonna be happier. And let me explain why. So, well, first of all, they've done study after study that shows that strength training and exercise in general are as good or better than the drugs that are on the market for things like anxiety and depression. And this is not a statement about whether or not you should be taking those, but what it is a statement about is that in your plan to improve your mental health, you absolutely need to be strength training, okay? Strength training is a game changer, not just for your health, physical health and fitness, but for your mental health as well. Um, again, you're gonna be less stressed. I talked about how we go through our days and we're under all this chronic stress, phones, constant stimulation, maybe not enough sleep, we're not eating well. We have all this like you know anxiety, this, this pent up energy, these the stress hormones coursing through our body, the cortisol and adrenaline, and yet we get to the end of the day and if we're not moving, like, those are still making us feel tired even though we haven't done anything. Exercise and specifically strength training is gonna give that an outlet. So it lets us use up some of that pent up energy um, which will then reduce our stress. It's also gonna make us more clear headed. So one, it's like gonna improve blood flow to the brain. You'll literally think better, think more clearly, more on that later. Um, but also it just kind of puts your, your life problems into perspective. It takes care of like the physical aspects that are contributing to like poor mental health, but also like maybe you have some things that are stressing you out. You do workouts and then you realize like, oh, they're not really problems at all. Or maybe you have like a really big problem because you're human, you're like, you know, you got, you're living your life. You're going to have big problems that you're dealing with, but it puts them into perspective. Okay. Like it, it, again, at least it takes the edge off of like, you know, it takes away some of that, that anxiety and depression that we might be feeling as a result of just some of the physical changes that are happening in our body. And so the strength training is going to target that and help either reduce, it's just going to reduce stress, 
across the board. It's going to make you realize some stressful situations are not actually a problem. It's going to make you realize that some very stressful situations, while they're very stressful, are maybe not quite as stressful because your body's in a better spot, okay? And that's going to ultimately lead to you being happier. And also just exercise is going to release those endorphins. Even if you hate exercise, like I promise you, you do it consistently. Um, and again, within your first several workouts, you're going to be feeling better. You're literally going to be happier. All right, next is relational health. We all want better relationships, okay? We are created for relationships with each other. And the cool thing is, you're gonna, well, number one, all right, it, it, it's health and fitness is the best, but like looking good is also really cool, all right? It's why we get dressed in the morning, why we shower, why we put on clothes, why we do our hair, our beards a certain way, whatever it is, it's because we care about how we look and there's nothing wrong with that as long as it doesn't become too much of a focal point. But when we show up looking good, one, that's a blessing for others, but two, it improves our own confidence and our, our confidence is really, what we think about ourselves is really the main thing that um, affects how we appear to other people. So we're confident, we're happy. Um, and again, we've got better perspective, better mental health. And two, like with your relationships, like, look, we all got problems and it's very easy for like, and we want to share our burdens, right? We want to share our burdens and help each other carry our burdens. That's in a healthy relationship. That's what should happen. At the same time, we've all probably been self-destructive and maybe allowed stressful situations to come into our relationship and impact the relationship with our spouse, um, our friends, family members, and when really we shouldn't. And so having an appropriate outlet, strength training, allows us to, again, take the edge off all these stressful situations so that like you're in a better spot um, when you do bring those stressful situations to your spouse, friends, family. Like, again, it takes the edge off, all right? You know what I'm talking about. We've all been crazy and self-destructed and, uh, and, and just allowed our problems to go with us and then we allow those to impact others. Don't be like that. Start strength training, all right? It's gonna help. Next is spiritual health. So important to be a human is to be both physical body and spiritual soul. You cannot divorce the two. We are not animals. Um, we're also not just spirit beings that, and the body doesn't matter. It's both. It's absolutely both. And we cannot, again, you cannot divorce the two. If you try to focus on one over the other, um, instead of focusing on both equally, acknowledging both, your life is not going to go as well as it could otherwise. <clears throat> so it's important that we address both. Whatever we do with our, our soul is going to impact our body. Whatever we do with our physical body is going to impact our soul. So take care of your body so that like, I think ultimately we are spiritual beings in a physical body. And like, this is our vessel, but like, we don't want our vessel, our body, our physical body to hold us back from being, doing, and having like everything that God has for us as spiritual creatures. So anyway, that's my little theology lesson for today, but we're both body and soul. You cannot divorce the two and wit, whatever you do to one, it improves the other. If you improve one, you improve the other. If you hurt one, you hurt the other. Okay. Simple as that. Maybe not as simple as that. There's caveats, but anyway, take care of your physical body. It's going to be good for your spiritual health. And then last but not least, let's talk about the money. The reality is when you get lean, strong, and healthy, you have a much greater chance of making more money. It's just the truth. Okay. So you're going to be able to earn more. You're going to show up more confidently. And again, because you're feeling more confident, how you view yourself is going to impact how you show up for other people and how those people perceive you. Okay. So like you're more confident, they're going to perceive you as more confident, more capable. You're going to have more energy. You're going to be able to get more work done during the day. Okay. You're going to have better mental functions. So you're literally going to be smarter. You're going to be thinking better. Your memory is better. Um, you know, again, you're not as stressed, you're cool, calm and collected. Um, and also you're going to be less sick. You're going to miss less work. And so I've, I've literally seen people make way more money as a result of starting a fitness program. And I think one of the interesting things is I'm fascinated by people who are, are very successful, who have made a lot of money and there's a ton of factors there, but what's interesting is the vast majority do work out most strength train. Okay. So it's, it's important that we take care of our bodies. It's not the only way that we're going to be successful. You know, all of these areas are improved by strength training and it doesn't guarantee that like if we're strength training, you're guaranteed health, you're guaranteed uh, fitness, you're guaranteed mental health, you're guaranteed relational health, you're guaranteed spiritual health, you're guaranteed financial health. No, that's not the case. There are many factors that affect those things, but strength training and taking care of our bodies is, is, going to give us the best shot at being able to do the other things needed for us to thrive in those areas. And who does not want to thrive in those areas? Okay. So if you want to change your health, your physical health, your fitness, your mental health, your relational health, your spiritual health, and your financial health, 
you've got to start strength training today.